Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's talk about it media 21. Please like comment and subscribe and please hit the notification bell. That way every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. And also, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Wow, I got all that out. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. Many people don't understand really what's going on. Many people are just putting it on Kim in regards to not making that statement yet. I haven't seen any. I know there was a most recent ad that was posted. I think she's in oh, some boots and some shorts. And many people are going after Kim, but they also have to speak on Kanye because if you didn't check my video, I did a video in regards to Kanye purchased a bunch of Balenciaga recently. And I'm wondering if they knew that things were going to be concerning and that that ad was already out and they already took a hit, but a lot of us didn't really catch on. Because I was saying to myself, how is it that he purchased all that Balenciaga? But then I also did a video in regards to him saying that his accounts were frozen. So this is not going to be a good week for Kanye. So you heard it here first. He purchased a lot of items from Balenciaga. He's trying to sell the items for $20. I'm going to show the clip after this. But note, Taco Tucker Carlson blasted Balenciaga for the ad. And the ad went up. I already did a video in regards to that. You go check that video out too. But they knew all that stuff goes through a huge process of you have to show it to the team. All you have to agree, it kind of has to go through their legal team. An ad just doesn't go up and, and nobody approves it. And then you did the, the, the documents. So they're saying, allegedly they apologize. And they're basically saying whoever was a part of that campaign is going to be let go. All of them were a part of it. I have not seen not one company. Everything goes through advertisement. The company, the managers, everything. Ha everything, if you ever, it's not even a part of what you see in movies. This is real legit. You can't just put up an ad and the board and the managers and the CEO don't see it. That sounds crazy to me. If they trying to pointing on somebody else that just did the ad and they didn't know about it there's no way there's no way it has to go, go through legal it has to go through so many stages and if this if, if Balenciaga's ran different than most companies that in itself is concerning but they did apologize apologies not okay let's see how many famous people come out against Balenciaga and make a statement that we're not okay what what's being said so I'm going to show the clip in regards to Kanye stating he purchased items in regards to Balenciaga. But let's let's let me go this way first. I want you to listen in on what Candace is saying about Balenciaga and will Kim make a statement? Because it's actually been 24, 48, almost, yeah, 48 hours. And I haven't heard anything from Kanye, nor have I heard anything from Kim. But it's mainly Balenciaga's fault. But she did just do a recent campaign. So I'm wondering if all the models are also going to call them out and say they're not going to work with them. Because when you look in there, Balenciaga, there's not a lot of pictures that I saw. It was like 10, 12 pictures. And it just shows different models and different outfits. So let's listen in on what Candace had to say about the Balenciaga post ad and her thoughts on it. But the biggest thing is Kanye's in the wrong too. And then I'll play that video. So what are they apologizing for? Seven minutes long. I want y'all to leave a comment. I'll ring in Hollywood. And. Appreciate each every one of y'all saying this. Quiet. Why doesn't every home in the hold U.S. On. have solar panels? The reason is not about sunlight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Skip the ad. Sorry about so let that. Let me give you an update in case you 
are not aware of what has happened with Balenciaga. Now, you may know Balenciaga. It's a huge brand. Kim Kardashian is one of the faces of it. In fact, if you go to her profile right now, she has dripped herself in their new campaign. Balenciaga and Adidas are teaming up. They want nothing to do with Ye. Neither does she. Perfect brands for all of them to unite and to sell some products. Who cares? Whatever. Ye has in the past talked about the fact that he thinks that his children are being sexualized in Hollywood. He thinks that it's wrong that his nine-year-old daughter is allowed to be on TikTok and they have millions of followers, knowing that there's perverts on the internet. Whatever. We know that everyone calls him crazy for saying that, talking about the overt sexualization that is taking place and the child exploitation that is taking place in Hollywood. They keep telling you that he is crazy, okay? Kim has basically allowed this narrative to go on. Like she I has mentioned, alleged that he has bipolar disorder. This is no Candace Owens' about. voice. He's lying. That it's fine for her to already be on Instagram. We also know that Kim K herself has engaged in pornography to get herself to buy herself access into Hollywood. Her and her mother colluded and had made a sex tape. So we know that she is compromised as it is. But whatever. The relationship fell apart. Who cares? The whole world wants to cancel Ye. Who cares? I decided I want to stand by him as a friend because I know that he's talking about important things like child exploitation in Hollywood, and we do need to have a conversation about that. So here's what happened with Balenciaga. Balenciaga recently released their ad for their next campaign, okay? In the ad, they have very young children. You can go to their website, and they probably have already taken it down. I will share that stuff on my platform as much as I can during my stories. They have very young children that are looking up with innocent eyes, and they're holding teddy bears, Balenciaga teddy bears that are draped in BDSM. Teddy bears are wearing BDSM leather products, okay? And the kids are holding them, looking very innocent, obviously trying to almost look like children that are in captivity. It's very weird. It's very bizarre. But you might be thinking, oh, it's what's wrong is the people that are even thinking that. Who cares if a child is holding a bear and the bear is doing a little BDSM? Wait for this, okay? Then and I don't approve of what they did from the campaign and the same exact campaign. And there is a Balenciaga purse. And under the purse, there's a lot of papers. When you zoom in to the papers, what you will see is it is a Supreme Court decision. The Supreme Court decision was Ashcroft versus the Freedom of Speech Coalition, the Freedom Coalition for Speech. Right. That was a decision that the Supreme Court struck down certain aspects of child virtual child pornography okay so essentially they are putting these papers that was the supreme court decision to struck to strike down certain laws pertaining to virtual child pornography under the purse so there was no confusion where they stand they are happy that the supreme court decided to get rid of virtual child pornography laws which now allows them to have these children that are holding these bears that are in bdsm poses and it's not okay I am so disgusted i can't even I, I i am angry i want to be shrieking like i said i'm trying to stay calm in this we have been talking about what is so obviously happening which is child grooming in our society people that are talking about children's genitals trying to pretend that it's love to get them to change their genders it's obviously what i have said for years it's going to usher in pedophilia you now have balenciaga one of the loudest brands in the world biggest brands in the world loudest brands in the world with a fleet of a-list celebrities okay that stand behind them this is the same balenciaga that just dropped yay for being anti-semitic okay and they are now putting on display child pornography now because tucker carlson did a segment on this and drummed up a response to this they have now issued a statement saying that they should have never featured the children in the campaign that's it that's, we should have never like i said this is candace owens voice this is not summer walker speaking this does not have anything to do with Kyrie Irvin. This is Candace Owens' voice. Keep listening in. Forget the fact that we have papers celebrating child mm -hmm. pornography under the purses, but we got caught, so oopsie, we're sorry. Now, here's what I know to be true. Kim Kardashian, girl, I know, I just know you are going to find that same energy that you found, that you and your sister Chloe found to write a tweet against your husband, condemning anti-Semitism and all of its forms, that copy and pasted rhetoric that you meant nothing when you even pasted it. But I know that since you found that energy to condemn that anti-Semitism, that you are going to find that same energy, that same exact effing energy 
to stand up and to condemn Balenciaga. Because, girl, we know that you are desperate for fame. You sold your own body for it. We know that all you ever wanted in your life was to be invited to Balenciaga parties and to be invited to places that Anna Wintour are. But we, we know that at the same time, you are going to find a little bit of whatever soul you have left to take a strong stance against child pornography and pedophilia. To take a powerful stance by saying that you will no longer wreck this brand. It's that easy. A tweet will suffice. Blonde Absolute Ultraviolet Care. I condemn child pornography and all of its forms and i will no longer associate myself with balenciaga which just tried to pull the wool over society's eyes by essentially saying that they are happy that laws were struck down against the child pornography prevention act because that's what ashcroft decision was the child pornography prevention act removed parts of the guts of that law the prevention act which prevented virtual child pornography so i know you are just looking for the right words and that your silence and your recent post drift in that exact same campaign is really you just sitting back trying to find the effing right words to say that you will have nothing to do with this brand. Because otherwise, Kimmy, 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 girl, if you don't find that same effing energy that you found for Ye, the father of your children, to condemn him, to support your friends, you stand, I think you said, I stand with my friends in the Jewish community, why don't we try a tweet that says, I stand with children all over the world that are being sex trafficked. I stand with every parent that has had to go through the trauma of having their children sexually trafficked or sexually abused. Use that same energy, Kimmy, and put up a post and be done with Balenciaga. And then I want you to re-examine yourself, okay? Because we know what you're doing. We know that you will say whatever it takes, you will do whatever it takes to maintain your fame. I want you to re-examine what it is that your ex-husband has been saying. Now, mind you, like I said, this is Candace Owens speaking against Balenciaga, and she's making a statement towards Kim. Her thoughts, her feelings, I'm only sharing. Like I mentioned in the post, Summer Walker and Kyrie Irvin doesn't have anything to do with Balenciaga. I was just saying that. There is definite hate speech out there, which is not okay. All races matter, and we know that. Everyone is brought up different. Different cultures, different religions, different thoughts, different feelings. You got to respect it all, because that's how they're brought up, okay? So, she's making a statement in regards to Balenciaga. She's making a statement in regards to her thoughts and feelings about people supporting Balenciaga, but she's mainly focused on Kim because Kim allegedly just did a recent ad in shorts in a Balenciaga shirt and some boots or something. I don't know. But many people need to be against Balenciaga. Many. Let's see how many people make a statement this week in regards to they're not purchasing Balenciaga. The main concern is this is going to be a concern for Kanye because he's stating he purchased a bunch of Balenciaga and he's going to put Yay24 on it. ...about what he believes his children are being exposed to because the fact that you are a part of this campaign, okay, this huge Balenciaga campaign, and maybe you didn't know, I'm not going to put it on you, but you sure as hell have known in the last 48 hours what's going on. And I think as the left likes to say, your silence is deafening. You guys are sick, twisted perverts in Hollywood. But Kenny, I'm going to keep the faith alive that you're going to do the right thing here. Goodbye. So thanks for tuning in in regards to that. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Kanye just purchased a bunch of stuff from them. <sighs> it's sad. He is not having a good week again. This is not a good week. Because he's thinking he's about to get allegedly back on his feet selling these items for $20. And now a lot of people are going to be against Balenciaga. It's the Balenciaga tag. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Note in the comments how you feel about Kanye purchasing the items. A lot of people haven't caught on yet. I did the video about three, four days ago, maybe two days ago. And Candace doesn't know Kanye just purchased a bunch of Balenciaga either. People don't know. And, and I'm sure Summer Walker don't know. But she has nothing to do with anything. Kyrie Irving doesn't have anything to do with it. She was speaking, basically speaking on 
the speech of and everybody coming against. But why isn't there more people speaking about uh, about Balenciaga? This has been said over Carl Tuckerson and I did a video. Other people have done videos regarding it. And a lot of famous people haven't said anything and they haven't made a statement. So let's see what happens by today or tomorrow or by Friday if they're going to not work with Beyonce, Balenciaga and Let's see what happens. Let's see what's said. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe.